I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands. morning folks welcome welcome once more to the bushman channel yes sir anyway today we in Mayaro. we wake up on saturday morning in Mayaro. yeah well actually i now drop my dad to the market Mayaro market there well we have a little prayer ceremony today for one of my cousins who died 40 days ago so today is the 40 days so I now drop my dad to the market and I just making up time to go to the grocery. You know, the grocery open 8 a.m. So I have some time to play with. So I'll drive wrong, probably cast a few lures somewhere by some river mouth, shoreline. If I get bait, sand fleas, I'll throw a line. And I want to offer the morning for about an hour, one and a half or so. Right now I'm in Piedmont Road. This is the old composite, the Myro composite school. And yeah, so anyway, stay tuned. Nice folks. So, as I say, we on tour, we had an up wire. I know it this morning, Kerry, man. All in home, we go and explore and we meet up with um, what's your name? Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Nice. So, Gwendolyn. Yeah, when they go to work, I mean, I ain't working taxi, but it did not take us up there, right? Yeah, so she going to work and I going to Lime. <laughs> yeah, not really to Lime, just, you know. Yeah. Thank you, Bless side. morning, everyone. Bless, Bless morning. morning. Bless morning. So, Gwendolyn. Nice. You want to shout out anybody who you, who you think? Yeah. Bless sure. morning, little children. So we now drop Miss Gwendolyn. Gwen yes. Gwendolyn out of work here by Guaya RC St. Anthony Primary School. So Thank nice. You, yes. So bye. Bye. Have a blessed day. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah have you a blessed day. So I going on tour still. All right. Bye. Yeah. All right. Bye. I'm to yeah. Yeah. No problem. Primary school seems to have uh, some fun in the back here. All right, never know it had some fun in the back here. Wow, anyway, if I had a truck in the back of the savannah to go by the sea, but I know that truck, so I won't take that truck. All right, folks, so we at um, a location here in Guaya. For the sea wall. Nice. So, um, yeah, this is where the bill are fishing. Um, fishing slipway and port, something like. I mean, since the billet did, I believe it never used the fisherman continue using after the this place with the bill. So I don't know. There's a few million wasted, wasted here. So yeah, let me take a long a walk along right here and see what it have to offer. On that jetty-like thing there. Seems like some a good fishing spot. Yeah. And look at that. Imagine that. Imagine water is be so rough to bring a driftwood on top here. Like probably eight feet high. And I don't know if tide high or it low. But seems like a nice place to go out with the skiff. Yeah, definitely I'll go I'll go out here with the skiff. Water looking real nice. 
there folks and that is Galiota point in a distance there where the table is and a port that they built from years ago Look what sea blasters do. Hmm. Wow. So I wonder are you sure it had something else they could have used say some kind of something else that the sea car blast car damage. Look that sea blast damage it. Look at bait. Crab bait like. Wow. All run away. All run away. Hmm. Seems like we have a nice jetty here to um, come and fish on. Go on with this place. Wow. Imagine here had sand and stones like all over and it just crumbling. Here we have the slipway. Oh nice place to fish a man here boy but I don't know why they use it. Whole boat, you have to pack your boats. Slip way to come down. It works, but um. I can't remember how much years this place built about 15, 15 years. Probably a little more, but yeah. Nice place. And I guess when they build the place, did it. Did it dredge here a little deep? You know? So that boat could um pull up alongside here and right now it get back shallow. So nothing can um, pull up here right now. But definitely Ah uh, we are signs of fisherman here. Definitely I'll come out here and go out with the skiff. Yeah. Nice folks, so again some direction to my one of my school partner friend house showing robots. Nice, so we're gonna check him out now. Nice folks, so as I said, we on tour here. We stopped by the shop to get some water. And the palaman Marita Aguil went to my in my time in school time in. Yeah, we're talking to she right now and we're getting some scores. She bringing back some memories and things here and yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, name is Kimi. Yes, Kimi. What is your name? Kimi Dire. So pick up the Kimi Dire and all the rest of classmates from that time. Nice. She now wake up there. The camera can pick she up too good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, the vibes nice. The tour going nice. Yeah. And, um, stay tuned for the next destiny. Still here. We now meet a man. His name is Kianan. I leave the sea and go by a standpipe and now take a bid. So anyway. When we still on the sea wall, we inquire here after sea wall and something catch my eye here. You know, we have a Derek set up there, a rig to drill for oil. Wow, on the shore, Aguaya. Look at that. Still searching for oil. Nice, nice folks. Right about now, we are at our location here in Guaya. So we're gonna cast a little line. I am much bait, have a little crab and stuff. A little line out there. See if I get lucky. Yeah. Beautiful scenic place here. So I don't know if to take it on this side or that side, but um, I think I'll take it on the driveway like. a few lines I ain't how much bait bait run out so
this is Trinity Road here and you see that road here then they driving something kept my attention this bridge like thing here hope it's strong hope I don't fall inside here wow yeah it seems to be strong but this bridge look like it is some big garden and a camp in the back there nice so I go in there yeah, yeah. we seem to have some fish in the water here boy and it looking like Right. What type of fish is that boy? Think I'm gonna cast a line inside here. Yeah? Baby top on. Right, so we are catching up tight to low, trying to catch a crab with a slingshot here, but um, the crab seem to go inside the hole. Right. We are at the river called Pilot River in Guaya here. This area is a decent area to go and get some crabs. Yeah. Nice folks, so I'm gonna venture. This is over the road from where the bridge is. You know, I'm just gonna scout out the area. Catch a lot of big crabs here back in the days. Hoping to catch a crab for bait, small one, and if I catch any big ones, there's a plus. My slingshot here, and we hope we catch a little something for beat. Shot here. So I mean the crabs them don't really be out in daylight. 
but who know who knows might be lucky today supposed to come up here last night but reach up late from central side Big one on that holy. Big blue crab. Wow. Like we have a abandoned crab shop here. All right. Abandoned crab shop. Folks definitely are gonna come back in this area. This area has some potential. They get some nice crabs. Yeah. Look at that day, yeah. shoreline. Beautiful shoreline here. Wow. Somebody make a roast fish or something here. Three stones. Nice. So we're trying to get out of here. This came to scout out the area. For another time.
again folks anywhere you go is garbage garbage too much garbage animals are making this garbage you know it's humans yeah huh anyway you turn is garbage I mean people coming and enjoying the beaches the shoreline and look what going on let's look what going on in this area here sad sight hmm. look what going on here I mean people coming and enjoying the beaches putting the garbage in garbage bag thinking they're doing a good thing but not at all garbage shock I come in here to pick up your garbage watch hmm. you know if that garbage wasn't there how beautiful here that look folks and a couple of years me and some soldiers here like hustler <laughs> stefano sean the bartender came and camp on this spot here and it seems like we had some campers here yeah is the campers were leaving the garbage you know yeah in the area and the area looking like the labas Seeing something under the bridge there. Something catch my attention under the bridge. Had to go closer to see what is that. Floating like something. Yes, I used to block off garbage or oil from going in. Yeah. Ah, it's somewhere here in running water. So this seems like a garbage shop, something like that. trickling down here probably I could get a drink because it's coming from our pipeline my arrow water oh look at that probably you could support your antique bid
to stop out my arrow here, my arrow junction to get an ATM to get some cash. Right, so things like that. Um, do some renovation on the grocery, and the grocery looking a little modernized now. So, anyway, we're gonna get some cash and see what.